Hello everybody, welcome to Jenna TV. I am Jay Lab and this is Football Manager 2018, the Unemployment Challenge, and we're now diving into the month of March as we hope to see how we do. And the first game was against Tamworth Town and we managed to win 2-0 thanks to David Sire's brace, 25 minutes and then 56 minutes. And it's looking very good for us. We had just three shots on target, but we scored with two of them, so that's not a bad thing. They had just one shot on target, which showed how well we did defensively, though it could have been better. We had more chances than the goals show, and we just didn't have a lot on target, unfortunately. Something that needs to be improved in the future if we are going to continue fighting for the right to be champions of the National League North Division. Our next match did see an improvement. We managed to actually score goals with more shots and we had more shots on target. However, we did concede a goal against Cruz and Aston here and it's a bit disappointing that was the case. We won up inside the first minute and then we found ourselves conceding a penalty 23 minutes in. Uh, Sam Madele scored that but then Gillis gets another goal. Then Beck gets a goal 3 minutes into the second half before Connolly makes it 4-1 just 4 minutes later. A good game for us and hopefully something that would definitely be improved in the future. So, let's see what we can do in the next game. The next match was at home against North Ferriby Town and we found ourselves winning 3-1 though I'm a bit disappointed with this game as well because we conceded again unnecessarily. Turnbull gave us the lead in the 61st minute of the game. We then doubled the lead in the 86th minute of the game with Bet scoring but then Dunker Lee scored and I was a bit disappointed with that but Beck managed to score two minutes later to ensure we get a two goal win which is really important as far as I'm concerned. The question is, could we keep this form up? Unfortunately, we could not. Despite the fact we took the lead into the 22nd minutes thanks to Luca Coville, we found ourselves losing 2-1 after they fought back late on with two goals in the last 11 minutes. 83 minutes in, Marcus Deninga gets the equaliser, then Shane Sutton gets the winning goal. A disappointing game and a disappointing situation as far as I am concerned. The problem is, could we keep this up or are we going to be caught in a very sticky situation where nothing goes right for us? The question now here is, do we get concerned? I don't think we need to be concerned. Though our next game is Southport, who we drew against last time out. We have lost twice in the last five matches, but we've won games as well. And York have actually had a very bad run of form as of late. Losing two games in a row before their last game against Newington. So we were actually supposed to get to just three points at one point, but our defeat last time out means the gap is now six points. I would be very happy to get the title at this point, but as, as far as I'm concerned, the playoff position is absolutely ours for the taking, and we can guarantee ourselves a playoff position in the next match, which is very nice. South will have the 19th best away form record in the league this season, so they could still have issues. They should be safe from relegation, though I don't think they'll be very happy with how they've done this year, only being 9 points away from the drop zone, despite everything else. And I'm going to try and give some lone players a more time, because I've had managers complaining, you haven't played my players enough. Though if they didn't use the um, players in the reserve matches, I might have played them more. But that's not my fault. That's more the manager's reserve team's faults. But anyway, let's get going against Southport and hope we can actually win this match because I want to win. So, the team, well, the expectation is that we'll win. Gillies or Giles will hopefully continue his good run of form first in assists and Beck. Is really good as well. Apparently, Steve Jennings. Um, this guy is the man that can create something out of nothing, though his average racing has not been that great. Though that's just average racing. He could have a magnificent game, as far as I'm concerned, in this match. So we've got to make sure we don't screw things up. And I want... Yeah, let's do that. Ah, they like that. Yay. Okay, good. It's nice to know that they actually like that sort of talk. Oh, hello. This is looking promising. Let's do that. And that. And that. I wish there was one 
person in my um, backroom stuff that can actually do everything, but unfortunately enough, I don't think I have that right now. So let's get going in this match and... Yeah, I'll, I'll take that. We just have to be involved in the playoffs, which is always a matter. So it's going to be a matter of time before we get it. It's obviously going to be the case. I mean, last year they did get the playoffs in real life, but we're actually not allowed to take part because of the stadium, would you believe? So a bit disappointing to hear that, but yeah. Shoot. Oh, that's a table pass from Gibson, I'm afraid. I'm hoping that we can at least put our result last time out behind us and that we don't find ourselves struggling to get a win here. I want to win against Southport at this time. We drew at their place, but they got a terrible Ray record. Here we go, Connolly on the ball. And Gilles with Gars finds Beck. And that's a save. Corville's offside, unfortunately, but that could have been interesting. Hansen's a very good right back, so I could get him back in, it in next year if he doesn't. Um, well, if I can get that option out next time. Sawyer's to Connolly. And, oh, that wasn't the best pass in the world, but here we go. They got a chance here, actually. It's not good. Oh, no. Samson. Went to ground. I was concerned for a second with the ground, but here we got the, got the ball again. Here's Beck. Plays the Connolly. Play for the Gillies or Giles. Plays across the Beck. I think he's hit the woodwork. It looks like he has hit the woodwork. That's not good. Holness plays it forwards. Here's Blackfoot. And Samson goes for goal, and he scored. Jesus! Why are we struggling? Okay. Penalty! Yes! Good. We've got a penalty here. Who's taking it though? I don't even know who this is. Beck to take. It's been saved. We've missed the penalty. Oh, isn't that lovely? God damn it. Well, that's a kick in the teeth, really, isn't it? We drew this team last time. We're now losing at home. We've only lost once at home this season. And that was against Kinnerminster in the last video, last live game. I don't like this anymore. Schumacher heads it forward, but King, that's a good pass. Beck's not going to get to it, though. That was a good clearance, I should really say, not pass. But, yeah, the keepers had a good game. Saved the penalty and everything else, and... Samson goes for goal. And that's a terrible effort, really. A bit tame, quite frankly. Bartlett plays that forward. Can we at least get a goal? Sawyers, Giles, Gillis, over. Well, disappointed so far. Really am. Missed the penalty. Should be scoring those all day long, as far as I am concerned. And... Got the ball again. Played it forward, but... Beck did get to that. Okay, that's good. Just a shame we didn't keep it. We lost last time out. We want to actually do something here and get a win. We don't want to draw. I, I need a win. That's conveniently lucky, isn't it? Connolly can go for this. He scores. That's one all. And that's good. Terrible mistake from the defender, though, to allow Connolly to get into that sort of position. But we have the goal. And Beck apparently is giving the assist for that. I don't know how that's the case. But, yeah. Schumacher with the corner, they're back in front. Okay. Blackford scores. Ah, uh, yeah. So, we are struggling here. A lot more than I'd like to admit, and a lot more we should be. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. Okay, so I'm just going to tell everyone that they're rubbish. Well, defenders need to be told they're rubbish because that was disastrous. Well, they want to do something now. I told them what I wanted to tell them and they are looking very much like they're going to do something here. And their midfielder's injured. Don't know how he got injured, but 
I'll just take the fact we need to improve and quickly. Actually, I can't be on about to do this. With 30 minutes left, we're going to go overload. This might backfire already. Jackson. That is... What? How did that get in? God damn it. I went overload and I almost immediately paid the price for it. God's sake, that was terrible. Well, bollocks. That's offside. But still, that is... Oh, God. What is happening? Why are we doing so poorly? I, I just don't understand why we're doing so poorly today. I really don't. Just want to win. I really just want all three points here. And we're just struggling to do that. I'm still going to go for the overload thing though, because I think we need to do something. Brown goes forward, but that's a terrible pass. Or clearance, whatever it was he's trying to do. Hansen gets to that. He finds Cavill. Keep it. Beatley goes forward. Here we go. Connolly on the ball. He's going to go. Oh. Oh no. Oh. Well. Um. I think I've blown this. We're not going to get the title now. There's no way we're going to get the title at this point. Let's be honest. I've definitely blown my chances here. I mean, if we get a goal, we're we'll happy. So it's good for goal. He has scored. That's 3 2. Chance to get an equaliser, hopefully? Hope so. We did this last one, didn't we? We took the lead. Oh, oh for goodness sake, we're down to 10 men. Injury. That's screwed either way at this point. Um, They could get a fourth goal. Oh, Camacho's got the ball. Here we go, Connolly. Julius. Okay, that was not good. Lacking a defender in the back. It's kind of obvious. But Gibson gets it back. Here's Brown. Gillis, Charles, whatever. Connolly gets the ball. <laughs> He's actually scored! How? How has he scored? How have we gone from 3 1 down to get a 3 3 equalising moment here with 10 men? I don't get this. But, yeah, um, we managed to get a point from this. When we, by quite frankly, should not have deserved it. We did not deserve a point here. The chances say we do, but I don't think we do. I think we were so disappointed. I'm so disappointed, honestly. Uh, I, I am still disappointed, quite frankly. I think we should still... Say, look, I don't care if we got something out of nothing. We should not have been in this situation at all. And King was terrible anyway. I know some players like Dima Teresa are confused, but I am not happy with the result. We should be winning these games. This is the side that we should have beat them. That is my reason for being upset. And they are confused by that. But, oh, we have officially gained the playoff place, though. So. Okay, that's good. So, yeah. We have actually secured the playoff place. So that may be what I was concerned. Concussion for James King, though. That makes sense why he's not being able to do anything. And the point, because Newington drew as well. That was the only reason we got it, because Newington also drew. So... <clears throat> Because Newton also drew, we've officially gained ourselves the playoff place. That's important. And it means that I can at least say my job is safe for, for the time being. And I've got the hiccups. Oh dear. Ah, this could always be worse. Or better. I don't know. I don't know. Profits are going nicely though. And definitely just to see what we can do here. But I'm actually going to end this video here. 
I hope that you guys have actually enjoyed this video. I hope you guys will actually like and share this video and that you will subscribe to my channel and that you will support me on Patreon, follow me on Twitch and Twitter. All of that does help me out. So anyway, until next time, goodbye and well, good night.